effect in the last little bit and um, realized I hadn't uh, actually set up the microphones properly. So I'm going to say hello. We can see if you... If you hello. Have... Hey, it worked. Yay. Loud and clear. Perfect. That's great, Cosmic Beat. Hopefully you can also see this game and it's not too reflective. I'm nervous it's going to be and I'm going to have to mess around with the I camera a little bit. Either. Oh, mine's reflective and yours is fine. Uh, but mine is reflective. Actually, like, uh, to me, this is, like, reflective. Extremely reflective. Mine as well, actually. And, I gotta... and it's annoying. Well, there's not there's not really a good way around that. I no. can turn out the light. <laughs> we we can play Twilight uh, Twilight Inscription in the dark, and they won't, Twilight be, they in the won't dark. be reflective. So in Twilight Inscription, we get four boards here. They're very, very uh, glossy. And reflective. Uh, and reflective. So which you can see annoying. my softbox there, um, which is just the way it's going to be. I might be able to mess around with the polarizer to make that better, but frankly, I don't I don't think I can. Um, I think it's unlikely. Why don't I give it one quick try? Because it won't okay. take long. It won't take long. I just need you. Are going to have to stand on the table again? You, you, no, I don't have to stand on the table. I have to stand on the stool. And that made literally no difference whatsoever, didn't it? No, it made it slightly less glossy. I don't think it did. It did, it did. I think you're crazy. I literally, I turned this thing all the way around and I saw no difference whatsoever. I saw it. In anyway. <laughs> pro streamer, hashtag pro streamer. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Cosmic Beat. Love you too. Love you too. Um, so, today we're starting a little earlier uh, because we are going to play Twilight. Big game. Inscription. It's not a big game, but it's a bigger game than we normally play. I think Heavy. Twilight Inscription is a roll and write game with huge chonky dice, and it is definitely heavier than basically every other roll and write game. Most roll and write games are 10 to 20 minutes. I can describe how to play them in five seconds, right? Maybe not five seconds, but 30. Relatively <laughs> this game. Little yeah, this game. Not so much. So we're gonna give this a whirl. We've talked a little bit about the rules, but let's just kind of take it from the top uh, just to make sure we're on the same page. So um, I'm gonna move my board over and I'm gonna kick yours over a little bit too, just so that we have enough space in the center here. We're gonna roll our dice here in the center and we're gonna put our cards out. So we're gonna flip out an event card every round. It's gonna tell us something to do. Most of them are called strategy events where they're gonna give us some resources, and then we get to kind of use those as we see fit, okay? Um, after, the, the way we use them is we pick one of our four boards to be our active board, okay? So basically, every round we have navigation, expansion, warfare, and industry. I really wish this wasn't so reflective. I might cheat and do something like that so that, oh, that didn't, wasn't enough of a cheat. Okay, so if I lift it up, it's not so bad. Now um, mine are reflective too. Well, that's just because you're getting over toward the I light, know, I know. right? Um, mine are reflective too. You're in a in a different studio spreading. with infinite space, this is an issue I could address, but we don't have infinite space, it turns out. So, anyways, we have. I mean, if we had infinite space, you could do whatever you want. Exactly. We have navigation, our navigation board, exploring space. Okay, we've got our expansion board. So this is once we've explored planets, um, kind of gaining resources and population from them into our vast empire. We've got our warfare board because un in an uncommon twist for a roll and write, we actually fight our opponents. Now in a two player game, we actually play against an AI opponent, which we've just decided is seated here between us. So these are divided into like a left and right section. So. My left is the AI, my right is loops around and it's Sarah. For Sarah, it's the opposite. To her right is the AI, to her left is me. Yeah, yeah. Okay? And then we've got our industry board over here where we basically can, you know, get a ton of different resources and stuff. As we gain these, we gain influence in the council. A council vote is going to come up. That's these decks, by the way, Sarah. You can see there's a vote in yeah. eras two, three, and four. Okay, a council vote is going to come up several times during the game, and we're going to spend our influence, our votes, in order to get the get a positive outcome. Uh, additionally, we can gain trade resources down here, um, which we can use in lieu of anything else, and they're also just worth points at the end of the game. 
So they're nice to have. Now, uh, in addition to all of those things, I missed the very start because my stream paused on me. No front cam when we can see the game. Yeah, listen, I noticed that and I was going to fix it. Okay, I'll go fix it because mom's complaining. Why don't you tell everybody? What? I don't think I can. I don't think Whoa, I can. Whoa, you tell everybody who you are. I'm the cats. What are they, what's their name? Uh, I don't know how to say it. Emirates of Hakan, I think? Uh, yeah, uh, the Emirates of Hakan. What if it's secretly Hakan? Hakan. Maybe. I don't know. So what's the special sauce for the Emirates of Hakan? What do they get to do? They are like masters of trade, and so you start with two trade goods. Ooh. Okay, and then what do you gain from... What's, what's your special thing... When you get a tr uh, faction ability, what happens? With the um, on industry, I can claim any two spaces that contain one commodity. Okay, so you get you get to like you're you're good at trade. So there, the industry. cameras should be fixed, by the way. So that means down here on the industry board, uh, you get to kind of bend the rules a little bit. Yeah. Right now, I haven't picked a uh, faction. Normally you pick three and you and you choose one, but I'm not gonna choose one because I don't wanna take the time to choose one. So I'm just gonna shuffle these up down here and you're gonna choose left or right hand? Uh, left. Okay, so left hand I have two. Um, so we've eliminated, I'm not the nomad. All right, so I'm gonna shuffle these ones up. Does that mean you're always mad? <laughs> get out of here, that was so bad. I didn't even get it at first because it was offensively bad. I'm sorry that you're sick. You're really sniffly, hey? That sucks. Yeah. Space cats, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Sarah's the space cats, the Emirates of Hakan. They're on the... They're on the box front. They, oh, that's why, you know, they're, they are, there's a lady space cat here on the front of the box, so. Okay, uh, left or right? Uh, I'm gonna go with the left because I'm left handed. Because you're left handed. Okay, so I am the Israel. Israel? I don't know how to say that. Tribes. I mean, it's you. I'm like, I'm like a little, like, angry, angry, green I told you, alien. You're always angry. I'm always angry. I'm not, I'm not the mad. nomad. That's right. You're always so mad. So let's see. You're the always mad. Scheming. When choosing your active sheet, you cannot choose your previous active sheet. So I always have to pick a different active sheet than I did before. I remember when I played this on stream previously, I might have played these guys, but I played one um, faction that you had to like go through them like A, B, C, D in the same pattern every time. It was really hard. Um, at the end of each strategy event, you can look at your neighbor's sheets and then spend one material. Hey. Spend one material to look at what I'm doing? No, no, no. I get to, I get to look at your sheet at, like normally you're not allowed to look at anyone's sheet until everyone's done right and like you're basically not supposed to peek but i am explicitly allowed to look at your sheet and then spend a material at the end of each strategy event that's cool and then my special faction ability is i get to deploy a black shade infiltrator anywhere except on another unit or on an anomaly so i get to put out a wait do we special do spaceship on my board somewhere of my choosing but it sounds like i could like go way up here or whatever right without without actually being there. yeah because normally you have to be uh like adjacent right you have to start at your deployment line and i think all your remaining ones after that have to be adjacent Part of the shape must be in the first row of nodes above the deployment row or adjacent to another unit. But I can just put that anywhere. Just like you get to pick anywhere on your trade sheet. Okay, cool. So we've, anything. we've got, can, hey, wait. off cost and tiny off cost. This game looks fun. Welcome in, Allison. Nice to see you. Um, yeah, this is uh, our but, first but, try at, that, a, at a bigger game. Dad, that yeah. means technically I could just get the dice. Well, that seems illegal, doesn't it? It's, it says it says one commodity. This is, this is one commodity. Well, is that a commodity though? Or I think commodities are just these three things. Oh come on! Right? Come on! 
No, it's it's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. Those are focus dice, Come on. not commodities. Not, but I you could get like the thing right beside it and then get it next time. No, because you need to. It need to be scrapped. Okay, well, you can get the thing one away from it and then scrap it and then get it. It's still easier for you. Or you might be able to get commodities that you really need in order to advance this to get more trade goods. And then I win like in that. points. Get out of here. What do you mean <laughs> then you win in points? We haven't even started playing. Okay. You suck so the only game. other thing we need to talk about first before we start is we are playing with an AI player because there are only uh two of us okay and then we need a third player for the purposes of warfare right yeah so the way that the ai player works is we kind of track them on this mechatol rex sheet so normally this tracks how long did it take you to get to mechatol rex and you write your name on it and whatever okay we're not going to do that uh, oh, no. we're using it for the for the ai okay and basically, um, let me make sure that I actually set this up correctly. Mechatol Rex. Yeah. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Okay, so, that's weird. <laughs> so, during strategy events, for um, we mark out the leftmost die, the leftmost thing on here based on these dice. Okay, these are the focus dice. So we roll these every time, and then every time it's a strategy event, we're gonna mark off the spots on the board that show that die, okay? Yeah. Does that make sense? Yes. Um, when they get to a goal, they achieve that goal. So if they get to here, before we actually get to Mechatol Rex on our sheet, they beat us there. They get, you know, they get seven points and we don't. Yeah, and Wah. we get two points. <laughs> what do you mean, I'm gonna get there last? Yeah. Is that, is that a challenge? No. It's, no? It's, it's the truth. It's just, it's not even a challenge. You just know that you're going to be first or second in Mechatol Rex and I'm going to be last. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. I know that, I know that it's undecided whether I'm going to be first or second, but I know you're going to be last. Okay. This is their strength for war events. Okay. So as they gain material during the strategy phase, their strength goes up. This is their votes in the council, um, which we'll deal with kind of when we zero. get there, but basically have votes you want to have votes okay votes are good votes like you were i yeah. vote that off cost loses you're like little off cost ha <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna lose this one loses. Oh, okay B big stinky off cost sympathy loses pat. oh the sympathy pat cool that doesn't feel really weird coming from my daughter okay the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just talk about these goals okay we have overall goals so um the first person to achieve them gets the point value on the left Ooh. everybody else can still get it but they get the point value on the right so we have prospector claim five planets on navigation okay first person to do that gets five points three points for everyone else core cracker so cross out all resource icons on three different planets just so pick the smallest all of ones. those things just pick the smallest ones. I guess, but then you're using those planets instead of the big ones where you can get cool stuff like your faction reward. Right? Yeah, but small. I mean, it's nine points. Go for it. Okay. Maximum for efficiency. The win against dad. Yeah. Ma team tiny off cost. <laughs> First four and off cost. There you go. Okay. Um, this one claim a contiguous group of 10 spaces. So n you have to have 10 interlocking spaces that you've claimed where none are scrapped so you're gonna have to have scraps around the edge basically because otherwise it wouldn't work does that make sense do you understand yeah, it i can do it okay okay you can do everything yes i can and then this united front this um, is the warfare objective it says mark all 10 nodes in two rows so nodes. nodes are the individual things you need to make a straight line all the way across on two separate rows okay okay i can do it you can do it. Yeah, there's apparently, okay, listen. So by Sarah's estimation here, I'm going to be last to Mechatol Rex. She's going to be first to all four objectives and then I'm going to lose. <laughs> so we'll have to see how uh, true that is. How 100% that plays. true. I, I can see the future. You can see the future. What can't you see? What don't you know? The dad will... What can't I see? Yeah. Dad getting a victory. 
How rude. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Let's just... Um, oh, a throne for the taking is the card that ends the game. I'm going to keep the rule book handy in case we need it. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Out of roll. Okay, so listen. Strictly speaking, the speaker... Ah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> I messed up. I hit the stream deck because I was remarking about Sarah's ability to drop everything. You roll. You roll, actually. I'm scared. I can't fit them in my hands. Okay, I'm going to roll the chonky dice because your hands are too small. Inadequate. And you're supposed to. Okay. By rolls. Strictly speaking, I'm supposed to. This is like the one time I get to no, do something No, wait. So it's cool. like green team wins. Dad's not on the green team. Well, whatever. I'm the speaker, and the speaker is the most experienced player. I've played this before, and the speaker rolls the dice. So. And the speaker loses. Okay, let's flip this out. So our first venture... Uh, strategy. You'll notice here that this deck, there's five like eras. We're in era one. Okay. Um, so uh, <coughs> we get three material to spend. Okay. So you choose an active sheet that you want to use and spend three material on it before the dice are rolled. Okay. And we both do that simultaneously. I will not tell you. Sarah is an obviously bright and capable young person. Do not tell her that. That will get right to her head. All right, so we do this simultaneously. You spend your three material. Pick a... Um, a, you know, whatever. A sheet that is going to be your active sheet. And, okay, you I've know, go, go to town. I've picked, you've picked. I've picked my active sheet. You, you've picked. Yeah, I've picked. Okay, did you spend your material? No, I haven't spent. Okay, yeah. go for it. I think I'm also... I like, think navigating seems like Wait, an you're... important thing to do. Are you navigating? Yeah. Because I want to go exploring and stuff and things. I'm doing that. Oh, you navigated the wrong side of the board, I'm obviously. going to Mechatol Rex. Oh, oh crap, I forgot about that. So Sarah is being clever and navigating towards the big important planet, and I am going oh, wait. literally in the opposite direction. You said I'm going the so, wrong way. I told you I'd get to Mechatol Rex okay. first. Well, you no, you know, no, no. You said I would get to Mechatol Rex last. Yeah, and I would get there first. Okay, okay. And you'll get last. Okay, so now we roll all the dice. Okay, so if these are called focus dice, these cool chonky dice, they're super. These are like one inch dice, and they're 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 awesome. Um, so the chonky colored ones, we have to unlock over the course of the game, and you unlock them per board. So you kind of like pick an area that you're focusing on uh, in order to get points because you can't you can potentially do a little bit of everything or a lot of one thing or whatever, but you you can't do all the things. There's too many. Um, so none of us actually have access to these presently, but I, as the speaker, I will mark out the leftmost spot on each of these tracks. That's progress for the AI. And then we got one of each, right? So yeah. we got uh, an influence, uh, resources, and a material to spend. So we basically can claim one planet and explore if two others. If you don't others. navigate wrongly. Oh, I navigated like hyper correctly. To get to Mechatol Rex last. Okay, leave me alone. <laughs> Mechatol Rex is for losers. For for winners. Space cats and, you know, other crazies. The people who win. Whatever, I don't believe you. I believe you. Um, are we still using the navigation as our active board? Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. So we roll, like, you pick your active before you know the dice, and then you assign your dice, like, you can't change what your active Thing is. Okay, okay, I'm gonna go even closer to Mechatol Rex then. You're Mechatol stinky. You're mega stinky. I know. So. It's not, you're not wrong. I'm gonna get a planet. I'm also claiming a planet. I, I can just claim this close to Mechatol Rex planet. Ah, uh, okay. So, when you claim a planet on your navigation board, right? Like, you've, you've got this one down here. Yeah. Okay. So you can spend that in order to access any of these planets on your industry board. Or a die. Or you could use it down here in the space docks to get access to a die. When you get access to a die, you pick which sheet you want to use it on. 
So it's up to you. Oh, there's my and, and you do not have to spend it immediately. You can wait. You could spend that at any time. Okay. Um, I think you're supposed to have unlocked the die before it gets rolled, but otherwise it's up to you. Okay. Um. So are you good? Yeah. yeah. All right. So let's uh, look at our next event. Strategy. So this is also a strategy card. Yeah, one of each. One of each. Okay, so you get to choose which sheet, and then we'll roll the dice, same as before. Okay, I picked my active sheet. Oh, you know what? I have this marked off from when I was telling you about this. I yeah. didn't actually pick that. I think I know what I'm doing. I picked my active sheet. You think you know what you're doing. You've, yeah, I'm you've picked have, like... an active sheet. You're just gonna go to Mechatol Rex. Aren't I just you? got Mechatol Rex. What? <laughs> There's only two spaces away. You gotta claim it. Yeah, I gotta claim it with this one influence. I, I don't think that that's the move. I think that that's you're, I think you're crazy. I okay, I claim Mechatol Rex. I think you're crazy. I I, I, okay, just just we gotta roll dice here. So when you claim Mechatol Rex, you get to write your name up here, and you earn the rewards. So Yay. you'd write your faction name, Space Cats, or something similarly ridiculous. And then you can get to, uh, um, you know, you, you'll earn I a get reward. three votes. You do get three vo votes. So you can actually okay. circle one, two, three. Okay. And I'm just, I'm just foregoing Mechatol Rex. You know what? I am going to be last. I Mechatol told Rex. you. I can see the future. I'm totally going to be last. Okay, so let's roll the dice and see what happens. Okay. So, I also chose to navigate. Oh, hey, you know what? I should have um, got one extra material to spend. Wait, I can't choose the same one. I'm choosing your active sheet. You cannot choose your previous active sheet. Okay, so I'm just going to not look at these dice. I'm going to undo what I did over here. If I can remember. I claimed a planet. And I explored one further. Now, I should have been able to do that exploration last time because I forgot because I earned an extra material. But I'm going to use this board instead. I'm going to use my industry board instead. And I have one of each. So what I can claim with resources. I'll skip these dice away. Thank you. So claim. You know what? I'm just going to claim both of these. And then I scrap with material. So I have, because I have one material to use, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, ooh, which one do I want to scrap? You want to scrap that pink die. The pink die? <laughs> no, I do not. Get yes. out of here. You do. What, you want to scrap all your dice? Don't it. It's no. the newest winning strategy. The newest winning strategy. Okay, I'm gonna scrap this guy. I mean, losing guy. strategy. I'm gonna scrap that guy. Okay, okay, okay. You scrapped the die. No, I didn't. Yeah. I scrapped one of the blue things. Okay. Okay, so what do we roll? Sorry about that. I messed up my faction ability. Two influence and a material. Two influence. Oh, yeah, because neither of us, we don't have these yet. Um, but we can mark that off on our AI sheet here. So. I need, I need a. This is navigation, research. by the way. That's like the navigation goal. Right? If he gets there first, he gets the five points and denies us the five points. Okay? Okay, well, since I have one material to spend, I'm going to go exploring. What do I have? We have two influence and one material. Two okay, influence. Okay, let's explore. Okay, where do I want to go next? I don't know. Somewhere good? Yeah, I'm like Dad. What do you mean, unlike Dad? I did great, okay? And a failure. I, did, I didn't fail. I failed nothing. Everything. Whatever. You're ridiculous. So I'm going to claim a planet and another planet. Going for the planets. I kind of gathered that. Okay, so I have three planets. What I want to spend them on. There's six, like, actual planets. Yeah, so I have to use... Okay, oh, what am I going to spend it on? Okay, I think I want... A green die. You want a green die? What? Because I have planets to spend. Oh, you're going to take the space docks instead. 
I see. Yeah. So I'm gonna take... I'm gonna take the green die... Okay. For... for... Navigation. For navigation. Yeah. To navigate. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go to... What planets am I gonna... I'm gonna go to... This one. Okay. And I have one more. The cultural one. planet? Yeah. Well, there's two cultural planets. Just the big one. The big boy cultural planet. The super cultural planet. And then the industrial. Wow. Did you cross off those planets when you used them? You used three? Yeah. I used three because I got this one last turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, which, so you got the cultural planet, the industrial planet, and what was your third? Uh, green die. Oh, on the space dock? Yeah. Fair. So you got to cross out this space dock. Okay, and then you're choosing to... So so Sarah just unlocked her green die here, which you would circle, right? You have it now. And then you, once you spend it, which you think you've decided to do already, you would yeah. cross it out. And no, 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 no. Okay, whatever. Um, and then you choose to assign it to a sheet. So Sarah's picked her navigation. She wants to go hard on space exploration. So now when we roll the dice, she gets that green die, but only when navigation is her active sheet. Which is kind of cool. Meanwhile, uh, you know, you're the trading space cats, and I'm down here dominating the industry. So... I have more trade See ya, than you. nerd. And yeah, more votes than what, you. You don't have... You got nothing. I have five votes and two trade goods, and you have two votes and zero trade goods. Trade goods are for... I don't know. <laughs> Cylon sympathizers. Leave me alone. All right. So. Um, oh, God. I wish the reflections weren't so bad. Ah! It makes me really irrationally angry. Irrational! Yep. I think, last time I, I think I, last time I did that, actually, I played with, like, something under the side of this so that it was tilted, so that it wasn't... You go irrationally crazy. Yep. Something like that. Okay, so we good? Yeah. Next one. This is the last card in age one. This is all, like the friendly stuff. I think it's just three strategy things. Ooh. So Fledgling Empire. <clears throat> choose an active sheet and spend two influence. Okay. I have to choose a different sheet than my industry sheet. I'm going to choose my... I think I'm going to choose to navigate. I think I'm gonna choose my industry sheet. What? Or maybe do I want to? Do I want to get some warfare? Out? What if we get a? What Wait, if we get a fight event what if immediately? I'm gonna do warfare. What if we immediately get a fighting event? How do we even do warfare? Okay, so let's talk about warfare real quick. So on your sheet down here, when you choose warfare as your active sheet, okay, yeah. you spend dice by purchasing the things on the side. So often you need multiples of the same like type of dice like you need three material but you can you can like mark these off as you go you don't have to get them all in a single turn oh okay okay but when you get them all you then build that thing the shape that's shown on the side yeah. and you draw it somewhere on your board so if you have nothing on your board it has to be touching this deployment line okay and then once you've got something on your board it can be touching the deployment line or it can be adjacent to something you've drawn okay. earlier Okay, when you cover up one of these spots on here, you get whatever it shows. You can't go on the spots with the anomalies. They like block you. Wow. And every time we have warfare, the right side for your board, okay? This is your board over here. For your so board, what's here on the right, you're gonna compare that against the AI's um, strength value. Okay. Okay, if you have the higher value, you explore planet. If you have the lower value, you lose a point. Okay, and the left side of your board, you're gonna compare that against my value that I have on the right side of my, my board. It's kind of like it's your neighbor and it okay. kind of loops around, right? So if you have more, you win. If you have less, you lose. And then the deployment line will move up. Did you just spend material? You, you made a PDS? Yeah, okay. and got a point. Yeah, I was also thinking about doing the same thing. That's crazy. Like literally, I was I was looking because this is the the you know the PDS. You need to influence to do it. 
I could also claim spaces. But I'm scared. I can't now... do industry. That's uh, What I want to do is industry, and I can't do it. So I haven't even done anything yet because I'm a fool. I'm, I'm, I was explaining things to you Maybe in monologue. You I am going to navigate. I'm going to go and navigate and claim those two planets. I've got three planets now. And Same I have as you. dice. <laughs> you don't. I do not. You're right. Hello, I'm going to listen, but I'm here. Oh, well, that's nice. Thanks for joining in. But you only have this die when you're navigating, so you don't yeah. have it during warfare. And now we have one right? of the trees on us. And that's not useful at all. One of each resource? I can build infantry. So you can build infantry or you can start marking. You can't do these ones because you have to unlock them with the technology shown. Yeah. But you could start like putting, you could put one of your, uh, the, an influence towards a PDS even if you don't complete it this turn, right? Okay. And a material towards a cruiser. What I would suggest to you, Sarah, is you probably want to develop both sides of this. So you like if you end up building an infantry or something, you might want to put it on the right side. Yeah, yeah, okay. But yeah, yeah, okay, she says. All right, so for me, I'm using my navigation board. One of each means I can claim one more thing and I can um I've done. Uh, listen, I'm you know what? I forgot again. Okay, listen, I have to not forget. I forgot to spend my material on my industry sheet last time after the thing, which is really irritating. I'm just going to like do that now because I should have earlier and I have to remember to do it now. So I have like an extra material to spend. I can claim one thing and I can explore like three times. I can claim this I and a fourth get planet to and then I can explore Rex. one two three and i'm done no i didn't get to mechatol rex mechatol rex is You're going for to last i'm going i'm going to get there last yeah that's lame well you said it yourself uh, yeah I, i'm exploring the correct side of the galaxy the incorrect side you're incorrect <laughs> you know what i also forgot i'm gonna keep making mistakes sarah I wanted to spend that. I want to get this integrated economy. I'm trying to, I'm trying to spend my resources towards it, and but you I need forgot to, that one. You need to explore to them. What do you mean? It says to two. Explored ex small systems. That's an explored small system. That's an explored small system, right? Uh, so I have I have things to get, <laughs> stuff and things. Now, are you done? I spent my extra material. I'm done as well. And I made an infantry. You, oh, cool! On the, on the down in the corner here, yeah. the one the one guy. I, yeah, I don't think this is war. I don't think it ever can be. See how there's these are black and blue. Yeah. You always have them in that order, so it alternates black, blue, black, blue. Yeah. So I think that you never get warfare on like the first part of like the new age. But don't quote me on that. I could be wrong. Okay. Toward a new home, another strategy card. Almost all the cards in the deck are strategy, in case that wasn't obvious. It was okay. obvious. You told me it is. So we gained three times. material to spend on a sheet. <coughs> I think maybe it's time that I get some warfare going. So I'm going to do warfare. I'm almost able to build a cruiser. And so if I spend two material, I'll be able to do it. You will? I will. Oh, wait, but no, Cruiser sucks because it is just... Oh, wait, I can do it in any orientation, though. So maybe it doesn't suck. I'm going to do a Cruiser like that, and I unlock this But point. I don't own... I don't need to spend all my resources on this. <laughs> because I have extra resources because I invested early. Because I planned ahead. I did. I'm the Space Cats. My name's Sarah. And this is the losing cats. I'm not a cat. Listen, if this, this, is the, this is the ugliest cat I've ever seen. I don't know. Hairless cats. Yeah, hairless cats are pretty bad. I'm like a goblin. I'm a space goblin. You're okay? the always bad. <laughs> You're the always bad. Okay, did you use your three, your material? Uh, I still have one more to use, and I think... Do you understand your trade goods? Yeah. What's your what's your special power? Because we haven't really talked about uh, this. I should have. The first trade good that I spent each round can be spent as two, two 
of any resource instead yeah, so, of one of any yeah. resource. Yeah, so trade goods, right? So, like, you should be trying to use trade goods. I mean, you don't want to waste them, but you should be trying to use them when, like, you could get two extra influence or whatever, right? I need research on navigation, and I keep on forgetting. <laughs> Oh. <coughs> to navigation. I'm sorry. You're not feeling good. We keep rolling one of each, hey? Yeah. yeah. That seems but to be. We a, need to re roll them. A very, I just rolled them. You just rolled them? Yeah, and then I just grouped them together. We got one. We got the singletons for each of these. I think I'm going to build another PDF. So our um, combat with this guy, he's going to have like three strength. So you would need to have three dots worth. Or four dots worth in order to be stronger than him. And I think I have five and four. Yeah. And dad has three. <laughs> Leave me alone. No. I'm choosing to believe. On my side. Which means I need to build a PDS over here. D can, the, can it go in any orientation? Yes, you're allowed to rotate it. It just has to either be adjacent to the deployment ro row or line adjacent. rather, or in it in a de uh, an existing unit. Okay, well, I have two more resources to spend. Mm hmm. I need to get dice. What am I doing? Why am I? Wait, does that? Mm. Why don't I? Why don't I use some of these planets to get these? Space yeah, why stocks? don't you? I don't know, Sarah. <laughs> What's my problem? <laughs> what is your problem? You're feeling very militaristic, which makes me extremely nervous. I'm going to place one down here. And I have a nine on this side, the side that you have three on. The other side you have zero on, so. One down here and one. Down. What is with all this smack talk? I'm done. I just realized I could get those extra dice and, like, they're just sitting here. You know what? I'm just going to use my space docks. All three of them. All three. Oh, no. I feel in danger now. I feel endangered. But, I mean, I could... I don't I don't need to be militaristic and mean like you. I'm not right? being militaristic and mean. You're just not being militaristic. What do you mean? I'm not being mean. I'm being militaristic. And you're being... Non-militaristic. <laughs> I'm not even sure what you're trying to say, but I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go hard on navigation. No. I mean. I mean, no big deal. <laughs> I don't mind that whatsoever. That sounds. This this here is. This is fine. This is fine. Ah. Do I want to go hard on navigation? Sure. Whatever. Ah. <laughs> Why are you making the weirdest sounds ever? There is... Are you pumpkining? It's a little early to pumpkin. No, no, I'm not pumpkining. Are you sure? Yes. Are you really <laughs> sure? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. I am completely and entirely... Okay, good. So next turn, are we ready? <coughs> oh man! Why do you look? I just wish you weren't sick. It's been going on for forever. Okay, a council convene the council. Okay, so for each unlocked uh, thing, you get another vote. So I get two. I really probably should have. I get one. Gone harder to get more. And I have one, and I'm... Okay. I have six now. Yeah, but you're going to have to spend them. Okay, so let's make sure we do this correctly, because this works differently in with the AI opponent than normally. Okay? So, council events. So, um, we claim our votes, and then, do you want to pass me... Never mind, I got it. This is our age two council deck, okay? So... This is our council vote thing. Okay. And then homestead relief. On war warfare, each player may deploy three infantry or one PDS. Okay. Um, and then I have to draw a counter agenda 
So um, I have to find one that doesn't have that icon on it. This one. Okay. So a technology embargo. That's scary. Okay. So excuse me. These are this is our like thing that we're voting on. So we're gonna vote by secretly marking on our sheet. Okay, so on our sheet, we've got a little section on it here um, that says... Pass or fail. Pass or fail, okay? So you vote to either pass or fail, and you choose a number of votes, and then you're going to spend them. You won't have them available next time, okay? Okay. Right? And um, the AI is going to cast some votes as well, okay? Okay. And then... Basically, if you cast more votes, then uh, I guess we don't have to mark pass, pass or fail. You're always voting how much do you want to pass, basically. Okay? If you vote more than the AI, you get the pass effect. If you don't mark vote more than the AI, you get the, the negative effect. effect. Exactly. Okay? So we don't have to mark pass or fail. You're always voting for pass. I hate the fail Thing. It's like the player who has the most fail votes chooses a number from one to three. Each player crosses out that number of claimed unspent trade goods on industry. Oh, so I would like, I'd be totally okay failing. But it says because, each player. Yeah, but I don't have any trade goods that are claimed, so I would lose, I would lose nothing and I wouldn't have to spend my votes. But I wouldn't get to put out a PDS. And I would like a PDS. For free. A free PDS sounds really good. Yes, okay. it does. And also, you could put it on the side with the AI so that you would pass. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I really hope you don't try to fail on purpose just to get revenge on me. What? You're going to do that, aren't you? <laughs> no. No, hardly. Did we roll these? Oh, we don't mark his sheet. Okay, so the AI has two votes um, plus, or I guess we don't, do we know? No. Okay, so the AI is, is going to have two votes plus we're going to roll a die. So they're going to get zero, one, or two additional votes. So they're casting somewhere between two and four votes, but we don't know exactly how many. Okay, so if you want the, to get a free PDS, like to do it for sure, you'd have to spend five votes, right? Oh. But, because you have to spend more than the AI, not tied, okay? <laughs> but if you were willing to risk it, you could spend three or four or whatever, okay? One I vote. really like the idea of a free PDS, you know? I'm going to hide it from you. Okay. You're going to hide your secret, top secret amount of votes from me? I really hope. Okay, I'm going to put... Okay, I'm deciding to play nice. Listen, what I should do, Wait. what I should be doing is spending zero votes and punishing you. I don't know how many to spend. I think, I think actually we only, it's only, the, I would only get, like, I think only the player like i would i would lose trade but you wouldn't right oh. they're written because it works differently in the multiplayer game okay so yeah. you're not sure how much to spend no i don't want to lose trade well then if you for sure don't want to lose trade goods spend five i don't want to go bankrupt then spend four okay. i spent four What'd you, what'd you pick? Five. You picked five, so you're good for sure. So we're going to roll a die, okay? He better not be spending two. I'm going to be and angry. If we get material, he, we add zero. If we get influence, we add one. And if we get uh, we get um, resources, he adds two, okay? So we got influence, so he adds one vote. So he voted three. Okay, which is good because I spent four. If I had voted four and he tied me and I lost, I would have been really sad. All right, so all my votes are gone. All my votes are gone. I have no votes left. I spent I have them one all. one left. 
but we both get to um, we both get to deploy I'm either three infantry voice. or one PDS on warfare. How would you ever have like this many? What do you mean? Like all of these votes. I don't know. I mean, I remember maxing out the sheets like last time. Okay, and I get to build a free PDS. Or three infantry. But I think I'll go for the three infantry. Because you've got so many Actually, wait, PDSs. I'll go, I'll go for the PDS. I'll just, I'll just calmly, completely uh, go for it right here. Get this one exploit. And you can go it. above the line if you want. Yeah, I just want to put it there. Okay, you really want to kill me. <laughs> I'm getting... That's the AI is it... No, the oh. AI is to your right. Oh. Right? The AI's... This board is the AI's between us. Right? Oh. The left side, that's me. I, I have I have three. <laughs> um, <laughs> You've got like 20. I've got... All right. Okay, 13. the only thing I didn't expect in this game was that Sarah was going to like go hard on military. And then that's exactly what's happened, which is interesting. Okay, so that was our council event. We're done the council. There's no more council till Act 3. Okay? You ready? Yeah, just one second. Please. It's war, isn't it? No, it's relics rediscovered. It's a strategy event. But of course, it only gives us a resource. One that's research. Research, sorry. I said resource, didn't I? I'm going to pick navigation. What did I pick last time? Warfare. But I can't because I can't pick warfare, which sucks because I really would like my warfare sheet to look less bad, especially because he's going to fight with a strength four and I have strength three. I'm so close and yet so, so far. far. Um, well, I'm going to choose navigation because I get the extra dice on navigation. All three. All three extra dice. That's right. And I'm going to use my thing to get the integrated economy. So now I can claim up to two explored small systems every time I use this as my active sheet, including right now. So I'm going to claim this one and I'm going to claim that one. And I get two things down here. Do you think? You ready for me to roll? Yeah. Which sheet are you picking? Uh, navigation. You're also navigating. Yes, this is oh, exactly what I wanted. Okay, look at these dice. Look at these dice, I guess. Oh, yes. I mean, oh, yes. I can travel through wormholes now. What? Illegal. That's why I got the green die. I mean, I could also get it so that I could travel through worm wormholes. I could earn that right now wanted and now i have well one of each resource to spend do i need the wormholes i kind of want the wormholes for reasons that i don't really care to describe to you but do i need them right now wait if you travel through a wormhole can you come out of any other wormhole? yes you 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 a wormhole links to any other wormhole and it's like one continuous line so sarah like if i went if i went through this wormhole I could emerge from this one and I would end up at that planet. I don't okay. stop at the wormhole. I, I like continue through it to whatever the next after a wormhole thing is. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. I have one more spot to travel, so. What do I get here? Material lets me explore. I need to go one, two, planet. three, four, five. Hello. Hello. I'm just trying to decide if I want the wormhole or not. Like, do I, do I need the wormhole now? I don't know. So, let's see. I'm going to go one, two, three. Why is that so creepy? Because it doesn't love you. Four. Just like how this game doesn't love you winning. <laughs> one, two, three. Four. I got to the secret only wormhole I area. I got two 
Oh, this down here? Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. I went to this planet, not Got to the two planet. Two research. And then I can claim two things. I'm gonna claim this guy, which may gives me plus one in combat to my right. I wanna use That's a you. space dog. And I'm gonna claim this one. Yeah, you want plus one, but I have 13. Okay, but I now instead of four, I have five. <laughs> um, you mean you, you have four. Whatever, instead of three, I have four. That's 30% better, still good. <laughs> Leave me alone, leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. No. Don't pat me on the head. I don't like that. I did not pat you on the head. I pat you on the shoulder. Oh, okay. The good news is I have claimed five systems, five planets. So no! I get five points for the objective. And if you want, you can come do it later, but it's only worth three now. See you, nerd. I at least got that claim to fame. Um... And I, and I get one extra material at the end of my turn uh, that I can spend. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Oh. So, you know what? Maybe one of these days I need to get to Mechatol Rex. So I'm gonna, Last. I'm going to slot. Well, better late than never is what my mom always said. <laughs> All right. You done? Oh, I didn't mark off the dice. I didn't mark these on here. Right? That guy. Oh, yes. And this guy. Please and get to Mechatol Rex. I don't, I don't want Dad to get to Mechatol Rex. You just, you mean to me. Okay, you ready for the next one? First, yeah. Warfare. Redefine trade routes. Production. So claim one trade good on industry for each plus one icon you have, which if I had one more blue thing, I would have got two, but instead I only get... One. I have no. Okay. And that's it. I think we only mark our, we only roll dice and put stuff out during strategy events, but that's most of the um, events in the game. I'm 99% sure that's true. Yeah. We're gonna get a warfare event eventually, and you'll have to submit to me. I, I'll have to submit to you. Yes, you will. Well, the good news is we have at least one strategy event first that gives us two influence. I think I'm gonna go here for my industry. I'm also considering doing industry because I can't do navigation. I can't double whammy, you know, but at the same time, I wonder, maybe do I need to actually use some of these planets that I have and go explore the universe? No. Go get some population and no, stuff? No, I say. No, you say. That does sound like something you would say, you know, <laughs> if I'm honest. Um, God, I want to do everything, Sarah, but it's Lover. hard. It's really hard to do everything. I mean, I know one thing you could do. What's that? Get to Mechatol Rex last. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey. You know what? I just There's realized some... I just made another mistake. I claimed my faction ability, but I didn't actually use it. I think we got distracted by rules. So I need to draw... I can put out a Black Shade Infiltrator anywhere on the board. Which is like a little L. It doesn't have to be adjacent to stuff. Well, why? Um, and that means I can unlock one of these red things, which I can use for something valuable. I just don't know. In the future. Oh, well, that's population. So it's just points. <laughs> that was really creepy. Don't do that. I don't like that. What's your deal? <laughs> you're, you're a creepy lady. I'm not creepy. You might be creepy. No. Maybe. I'm sorry I forgot to do that. You know, I think I'm going to tell Dad history. that you should just admit defeat. I should just admit admit it now. Yeah. It's, it's all over. It is. There's no winning. There's no hope. It's 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 a lost no cause. Yes, I it just, is. just might as well give in <laughs> yeah. and, and submit to the cats. Sub submit to the space cats now. 
<laughs> I feel like I'm I'm getting marker on my finger here, and I've been wiping at my my picking at my beard, and I'm like, do I have orange in my beard? Let me see. If I could see the entirety of your beard. What do you mean if you could see the entirety of my beard? Um, then I would be able to give you a for sure answer. Okay, whatever. But I say currently, no. as of as of today, no. Okay. Here's what we get. Three material. Material, material, material. I have industry. Oh, ma I also have industry. That's that's a little bit uh, on the scrap. Actually, wait. Heavy kind of side. Get to Mechatorex. We Actually, done the you know what? Area. I'm going to use my planet right now. I need it. And I'm going to get the blue die on this just so that Get out of here with, your, with your die ab dice abuse. It's not abuse if it works. <laughs> Strange, but okay. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to scrap this, this eventually so creepy? in order to get that. Shivers down my spine. I'm gonna have to scrap this or that. Scrap the dice. We get three to scrap. Scrap. It's not abuse if it works. Words to live by, Cosmic Beat. Well, words to live by. It's not abuse if it works, and it doesn't hurt anybody else or anything else. It doesn't hurt anything. Okay, well that's at least you're like, you know. You're putting something good out there. It's not abuse if it works. Wild. Wild, my dear. And causes... Um... I'm going to use a trade good. Okay, actually... So that I can claim this green die, okay. which I'm putting on this. And then I have two more research to spend, which I can use to claim stuff. I can claim this pink die... Which I'm going to use on this also. So then, oh, that gives gives me an extra material. I'm not going to use that. I'll use that on. Can I scrap or anything, or does it need to be specifically adjacent to some? Yeah, you you work out from the existing adjacent. No. Ones. You don't have to spend it. Like you don't have to scrap anything. Okay, then I can just um. But like, no, I need to scrap but like, something. You're gonna like have this. to scrap things in order to claim them, right? Okay, I'm gonna go scrap this right here and claim my faction over. you do seem like the faction of and i can of claim any two spaces now so i'm gonna do that i like this music this so, makes this music makes me think of mass effect for reasons Man, I got way more material than I wanted on that. I even abused the dice in order to get extra stuff, and like it didn't, it didn't help. And I get an extra material. Do I even want to use that extra material? I'm just crossing out everything red on this board. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, so I can still get all of them. Now I get plus two trade resources. What? Oh, I also get plus two. <laughs> okay, that took a long time. Oh, and nobody could see that because it was just reflective. But I filled up my industry board quite successfully. We're going to end up fighting, aren't we? We're going to end up fighting. Yeah, this is probably going to be a warfare gonna card, and you're probably going to lose. It's going to be bad. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Yeah, like warfare. It. Warfare. It is war. The border conflict. Advance the deployment line. Then resolve a war against each neighbor using the sections immediately below the deployment line. Okay, so we draw a line here, Sarah. Okay. We're, if you're claiming it didn't work, then according to the words of Sarah, it was indeed abuse. I don't know, Sarah does seem very abusive. <laughs> I do not abuse you. No, I don't know. You abuse yourself. I abuse myself. <laughs> I put myself through this. I was the one who said we should play, so clearly it's... It's yes, all my you fault. Did. Uh, it's yeah, self-inflicted. You actually did say we should play. You're like we should play Twilight Inscription. I did say that. Cause I am sick. <laughs> okay, so the AI's strength is four. Okay. Oh, luckily I. And basically, six on that one. I have four. 
I don't know what happens in a tie. Look it up. I will look it up. Do the clickety clack. No, no, no. I'm gonna look it up here. No, I want the clickety clack. Each player counts the number of marked nodes, and they add bonuses and write the total in the left section. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> Oh, if you tie, you get you neither win nor lose. You get nothing. Okay, okay so look, open. so look, I've got a I've got a four, right? One, two, three, four. So the AI has like if we look at my board here, I I have I'm looking at the left side, okay? So I have one, two, three, four nodes covered, and I look at the the left player to my left is the AI player sitting here between Sarah and I. So the AI player also has a strength of four. So I neither win nor lose, I get nothing. Congratulations. Okay, and then on the right-hand side, I have a strength of three. What's your strength on your left side? On this side? Yeah, that 13. side. 13, okay, so I lose, I'm gonna lose a point. Um, and Sarah wins, she gets a- Green thing. Green thing, which you can spend to like unlock War Sons, the big, the big boy. Um, or this. Yes, you can spend to, to get there. You you have a green thing that you can use. Basically. Yes. And you and have a minus one point that you can use. Yeah, and I didn't get a reward or and I a minus point on the other side. Because I have six, which is Which better. beats the AI, so yep, you did it. it. It's just a planet. Is that the planet, or do I get to... I can no, 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 like that's like you had an additional, like this should be crossed out, right? These you've used, right? And when you cross that out, you can claim an additional planet somewhere here. Like, oh, okay. It's just like you got one on your board. Okay? Okay, okay. I think I'm gonna use it and claim hazardous. Man, I feel like I'm getting my butt kicked. You are. <laughs> at least, at least she's humble, you know? Okay, so our war event is over. Ready? Yeah. Strategy. Technological frontier. So we get one resource to spend somewhere. What did I last do? Industry. I'm gonna so do I, I can't do industry. I want to do warfare so I don't get my butt kicked Actually, immediately. I'm do warfare. You always do warfare. You're a warfare abuser. I am not. Wait. Okay. I'm gonna we do have navigation. Yeah, I spent my technology to get gravity drive. I can go through wormholes because I'm cooler than you. You mean less cool because you're losing and I'm not. I don't think that's true. I think it's true. I think you're pretty. And I think you're losing. I also think I'm losing. I'm going to get another point. I'm going to set my phone strategically underneath these and see if that's I don't enough think it's working. to make the glare. It's that made the glare working. way better. It's not working. What do you mean? It's not working like your plans to win this game. No, this is totally working. This is the working. Well, your plans to work. win the game are not working. Right, so are you, according you, to me, it's Which used. board are you using? Warfare? Yeah. Oh. Why is Sarah so militaristic? Man. I already put out my... Ooh. And you get... Oh, you don't get any extra dice on that one. Actually, I can pick a die to get now. How? Because I have, I have this planet that I haven't spent yet. And you have this planet that you haven't spent yet. I did. I spent it on... Oh, so then you should cross it out. Okay, but that only lets you get the pink die. Yeah, right? I can get the, the pink die for... Okay, I'll just... Yeah. Two extra material. Go for it. Which I don't need. I'll take it. So I... What do I have to spend? I need influence. I have one influence, two influence, and five material. Six, because I get an extra one at the end. I'm going to build a cruiser. So I can go... One, two, yeah, three, and then I have four, five, uh, and I can claim two things. An influence and another material. I'm gonna claim a relic, and I'm gonna claim a faction okay. ability. Is this population? Yes. So you mark it on that track. And population, you like have to like, like, they become worth a lot more. So you really gotta, like, they're they're like a point, but they're worth a lot more than a point later, right? The high ones are like four, right? 
Okay, I took a relic up here. Um, a relic lets me uh, take the top card of this relic deck. I found a relic and I get points for it and then some other special thing. Okay. The Crown of Thalnos. It says play immediately. Almost Thanos. Thalnos. Almost, almost Thanos. Thanos. Yes. <laughs> you gain one it's additional Thanos strength Thanos. in all wars. No. Yes. No. Now I yes. But also, how did you build that? Build what? This twice. That's my my special ability. The, you can just build it? Yeah, right? It says deploy one black sh shade infiltrator anywhere except on another unit or anomaly. That is not fair. So I don't have to be adjacent to the line. I get nothing. Anyways, I get only three points for this, but I get plus one in all... Also, I think I figured out the correct way for these erasers to go. Wars. Doesn't it go this way? No, I figured out the better way. That's the worst way. That's objectively worse. What if I put it like this? What's gotten into you tonight? We decide to play a long game. It's six twenty, and you're like pumpkining. Is it bedtime? No. Okay. No. Okay. Okay. No. Okay. Okay. Back to the game, I can't. crazy lady. I, can't. I didn't mark these. I have. He's almost at Mechatol. Yes. It's a disaster. Yes. It's a disaster. You're nowhere near Mechatol. I'm, I am nowhere near Mechatol. It's terrifying. Congratulations. But I did find that relic, so. Aha. I don't know where near Mechatol. Leave me alone. No. And then I get to claim two small things because of my um, integrated econ economy. So I can <coughs> claim. I still have the same amount as you. This though. golden one. And then I can claim this little blue one. Does this give me nothing? <laughs> yeah. What? Weird. Anyways. It's so that you get nothing. <laughs> it's so that you get nothing. Cool. Thanks for clarifying, <laughs> Sarah. I was confused. Yeah. And it's awesome. You, you I'm not gonna lose the game. I'm doing great. As intended. I'm doing great here. As intended. Okay. Are you done? Yes. Alright. Let's let's check out what's next. Production. So one trade good. Ah, oh, if I had gotten one red thing, I could have taken it and I didn't. It would have given me an extra you trade did. good. Okay, enough with the sass. <laughs> We're getting a little bit too zany. Okay, I would like to continue I, I... playing Twilight Inscription. <coughs> yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine, she says. Is my hand orange? Yes, a little. Lefty. Is my hand orange? Yeah, it's very orange. Curse of the lefty. Yes, it is. It is, it is, it is. Okay. Did you mark your trade goods? Yeah. Okay. Bustling economies. Strategy. Border defense. This is two influence. I cannot choose navigation. I'm choosing navigation. Oh. I want to do all the Actually, things. Actually, wait. Should I just choose like expansion? I mean, neither of us has done any expansion. I'm doing expansion. I've done almost zero expansion. And I feel like a little yucky about it, but like. What is there that you can do about it? I mean, I get the pink die on the expansion. Board. Wait, can I spend trade goods if I pick anything? If I. Is it only if I pick industry? No, no, no. At any time, you can use a trade good. Yes. Like, as though it was on a die. Yes. Right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to spend this extra two of any resource. But it's any one resource. Any two, because it's the first time yeah. I spend it. Yeah, so two material, n not any two, two of one, yeah. right? Two material, two tech or two resources, or two resources or two influence, not an influence and a resource, right? Okay, I think I'm gonna pick two research. You pick whatever you want, because you're ridiculous. I think I am really upset about this not working out. And I get another one of these green thingies. Outrageous. Mahaha. Ha. You have nothing. I want all of the things. And you get nothing. But I'm really struggling to get like any of the things. Yeah, because you, you get know? nothing. I do get nothing. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go warfare. Congratulations. I'm gonna get a PDS. <laughs> which that was gross, Sarah. Sorry. Um. Which is like that. 
And then I have one more. Do I just invest on my next PDS or do I deploy an infantry? If you could roll three inf useless infantry. If you could roll one of everything, that would be really useful right now. If I could roll one of everything. Okay. Really I will do my best to roll one of everything. We that did not, not get one of everything. I but am. it's still Sorry. it still works. It still works. It's still it's still good. It's still good. And look at this. I get one of these talky things. And I get two of the talky things. Nice. What are they? Talky thingies? Yeah. Like like this? Where did you get it? These. That you mark underline this, it gives you votes. Oh yay. Right? Like is your vote uh income, I guess, is how I would describe it. Uh, I get a material. Do I want to use a trade good? I'm gonna get an extra material after at the end of this round after peeking at your sheet which means i can deploy a cruiser which is pretty big for me i can do nothing actually on industry i could claim any two spaces it's the slider what's the slider that weird noise so like <laughs> yeah yeah i know it's the cable on the slider it's weird and i don't like it it's weird and you don't like it that's fair it's understandable. Okay. Yeah. Um, what is our Wednesday tradition? I don't know. You tell me. Okay, well, we have multiple Wednesday traditions. Do we? Yeah. The receipt stab. The receipt stab. That's that's a Wednesday tradition. Okay, what um, else? Well, of course, the wave. The wave. Of destiny. The wave of destiny. That's exceptionally... Uh, that's entirely that's a lot and um also yeah. finished my thing sorry yeah. that took forever receipt stab wave of destiny etc um you done yeah did you mark these off I did not thank you for the reminder Oh, he's up to strength four. He's almost at Mechatol. Yeah, and you're nowhere near Mechatol. And he gets a vote of five. That's terrifying. That's sucky. That's terrifying. Okay, ready? Oh, no! War! No! no! Hey, 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 Sarah. Sarah, Sarah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what? Listen, it's not that big of a deal. Do you see what happened to my wars? Have nothing. Not good. Yeah, so good. Like, so listen, listen. What are we trying to do in this game? Win. We're try trying to win. But like, we have limited resources and we can't put them everywhere, right? If you do war, you're not doing... Like, how much expansion have I done? I literally haven't picked it even once. Zero. Okay? So. Put it in... I don't know. Yeah, I could have unlocked those. Anyways, um, so you can't... Uh, like we're trying to do everything, but you can't do everything. So war coming up when you've invested basically nothing is actually better. Like whether you lose by a hundred or lose by one, the penalty is the same, right? So it's better that you put no effort into your warfare and lost than you put a bunch of effort in and then you still lost, right? And the only penalty is a point. Who cares? Me. Well, I know, but. Of course, I have two versus me. Pardon? Nothing. Okay, the AI has four. That's where I get pink dodge. Get out. Yeah. Unfortunately. Sorry, sweetie. <laughs> you gonna be okay? Yeah. Should we stop playing? No. Okay. So let's resolve these wars then. So what's your total strength on the right-hand side? Two. Okay, and he has four, so you lose, right? So you circle the minus one. It sucks, but like, I have... Listen, do you remember what you were doing when I failed? Yeah, but there's nothing uh, I good seem, on that side. I seem to recall there was some gloating going on. But there's nothing good on that side. 
What do you mean? There's nothing good down there. Down here? No. What do you mean? You got one of the green things and a planet. Like, are you an extra die? And you can use this to get this war sun, the super mega thing, or to get the access to these, which gives you doubles of everything, right? And you can just claim them because it starts as uh, spent, right? Scrap. I think you're doing okay. I won both of my wars. I get a pink die and I get a faction ability. Oh, and we have to move the deployment line. Did you win? Oh, your war with me, you have four. I had 11. Because I get a lot of bonuses. I get fleet logistics. If I have two full ships on one side, I get three bonus. And then I get plus one. And I get plus one. So I get plus five, basically. I had six plus five. All right. Ready to move on? Yeah. Okay. No. No? You want to stop? No. Because you lost one war? No, I lost both of them. Okay, but somebody's going to lose the war, right? Maximum yield. We got a ton of materials. What are we going to pick? What are you going to pick? What can I do with materials? I can explore. Ooh, I could get to Mechatol before him. <gasps> nope. No. I can I can live the dream. I'm going I'm going navigating. I One, two, three. I'm going to roll really effectively. I get all the dice, right? One, two, three. I'm going to roll it's going to be a thing of glory. I'm going to get to Mechatol Rex before the evil end. Imagine era. these two only roll one like this. So he gets to Mechatol Rex and none of these are material. I don't want to imagine that. That sounds awful. Imagine it. <laughs> no, I'm not going to imagine that. Okay, so where are you going? I navigated. What are you doing? I have no idea. Okay. Do you want a suggestion? So I think that something to be mindful of is that you can also still get lots of points like there's points to be gleaned from these objectives still these ones are nine points your the expansion one you know if you want to get it you're gonna have to get on it pretty quickly right but like covering this gets you two things you have a couple of other planets. You could work on that it's core cracker material. thing. I know. I'm just saying it's you're close to having it, right? But um, basically, I would probably, like, you could either start investing in your warfare for knowing that it's going to come up in round four. It might come up early. It might not. You don't know, right? You could start doing that. Or you could start... Um, investing in uh you know your expansion to try and get that core cracker objective or start trying to get max i mean you're not going to beat me to maximum efficiency i've got a lot more in industry than you but you could just do industry and just get a bunch of stuff like you that's how you unlock a lot of these dice right so that's an option too honestly actually so the only thing is industry kind of sucks when all you when you get scrap right you don't necessarily want to scrap everything. So, I don't know that industry is the move. I would go expansion, see what happens. Or you could navigate, you could continue exploring the universe. You got to this planet, that means you can get down here, or to, you can get a relic, maybe the relic's super good, right? It's probably not going to be that good. I mean, mine was pretty okay. I think this is like, like three points is really low for a relic, I think. But I, don't quote me on it. Anyways, I would either explore or expand. Personally, if I were you. What do you think? No. Okay, well, we're waiting for you. So you gotta make a decision, my dear. Um, 
go to expansion? I think that's the move. I think try to get core cracker, right? And something to consider, you have that green thing, you could get the neural motivator. On each unlocked planet, cross out one material or um, influence in a row or column that has a population asset. On each unlocked planet, you get one like free thing every time you activate it. That, that isn't terrible. I mean, I don't know. But I don't know if it's worth your green thing. Your green thing might be better for War Suns, for kicking everybody's butt. I mean, I would strongly consider do your industrial planet, right? Try to get that core cracker? What do you think? Yeah. Did your marker just stop working? I didn't open the attack. Ah, okay. They are really hard to open, eh? Yeah. Okay, so shall I roll? <laughs> Don't get to Mechatol Rex. Don't get to Mechatol Rex. No! <laughs> that gets him to Mechatol. That's, that's it. That's it for you. But I mean, what if I get there at the same time? What happens then? Does it do it immediately? I don't know. I think we mark this one even though it's not age four. Because this one's full, I believe. So we'll just do that. Navigation. I don't care if he gets the navigation goal. I already did it. Um, and yeah, I think this just means the AI gets there. And oh, hey, they have a reference for the vote. So AI overlord. We'll just say he makes it there, whether that's true or not. So you were right. I told you. That's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Oh, what are those red things? So what do I got? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. And I can claim two. One, two, three. Do that one. One, two, three, four, five. And I can claim two, which I'm going to claim a relic. You need a tissue? I think they're by our feet. They're right behind your stool. Here, we'll be right back. All right, we're back. We figured we'd save you from Sarah blowing her nose. These require different things, Steve. Yeah, it's either or though, right? Like you can either unlock this gravity drive by spending the blue thing or by paying three resources, oh. right? So you either get it in one go or you know, whatever. You the could long also haul. get it in one go. Yeah. Okay, I took another relic up here. Oh. Let's see what I get. Bum, ba, na, na. The Prophet's Tears. You may play this relic while any sheet is active. Pay one specialty asset cost on that sheet. At any time, spend one planet to return this card to your hand. Okay, so I use this and it counts as a sheet or a, a one of the specialty resources yeah. but then I have to spend a planet to get it back that seems extremely expensive but cool because then I can use it to like unlock some of these things that I've been struggling with I like that okay I like that all right okay uh I think we're done right yeah well I get my one bonus exploration i can go toward mechathol rex and i get to my integrated economy i get a red and a blue okay let's see what we got next dun, 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 dun. the council partisan maneuvering okay so he's gonna vote a minimum of five i don't have and five. a maximum of seven well you gain however much your income is. I have four. I gain three. 
I really thought I had gotten a lot more. I don't feel like I'm playing this very effectively. I feel like I'm getting a lot less done than last time. Okay, so here's the, how the vote works. We get, if we pass, on Warfare, each player crosses out all of their unbuilt cruisers. Those units cannot be built. Why would that be good? I want to build those. And otherwise, am I supposed to find the one that has the star? I might be. Let me make sure I get this right. Because that seems like a not very good thing to do for us. No, you just draw the top one. Okay. So that's our pass thing. And our fail criteria is that... Oh, this is actually part of the okay. You claim one trade good on industry for each war you've won. You've won two wars. I've also won two wars. We would each get two free trade goods. Okay. How many votes are you voting or are you doing, Sarah? Zero. I'm also doing zero. Okay. So he votes and gets plus one. No, plus plus zero. Five. So he has five. So we fail. Each player claims one trade good for each war they have won. I have one too. You have one too. I like trade goods. Overall, that was a pretty okay thing. Like, that was a good way to fail. Imagine if it was discards a random amount of trade goods. Everything. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I would like that. Okay. <coughs> so. Uh, council's done. Ooh, we're into the deck four now. Okay. So there could be war at any time. Forbidden knowledge, a strategy card. So, one resource. What did I do last? I explored, I navigated. In column. I'm going to do industry. Um, I go. I think I'll. Um, Live the dream? I don't know. You don't know? Don't forget, you should be trying to use up those trade goods. You marked out that fourth one for some reason, but you have five available. Because every time you, the first one you use each turn counts double. So you want to use one every turn. You have enough now that you should be trying to use them, I think. Okay, um, I'll spend. Um, I think I'll go to... Are you okay, Sarah? Navigation. You okay? Yeah. Feeling all right? Yeah. Okay. So you got one resource to spend in your navigation. Yeah. Explore one spot. Go down to the thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Totally. I can't claim it. Pardon? I can't claim it. Well, you get the dice, including the green dice, so probably. We got two influence and a material, so you can claim it. Okay. Um, can you pass me a relic? I can. I told you you were going to get it. You're going to read it out. What'd you get? A uh, syncretone. The syncretone. What is the syncretone? A play immediately. On industry, claim any three spaces or scrap any five spaces. Oh, so I get to do nothing. And you get three points. What do you mean? You get to immediately, on your industry board, claim th any three spaces. Wait a minute, that includes dice. Yes, it doesn't, because your thing says claim any two spaces that contain a commodity, right? This says claim any three spaces. So just get whatever you want. So totally take the dice, right? Take these ones that you're far away from, right? Or these two anyway, but a blue die. Okay, um, I think I'm gonna take a blue die, a green die, and a pink die. And a blue die. I think that's a good move. 
So um, two blue yes. dice uh, and a green die. I think I'm going to put like at least one die on expansion. And I think my other die is going to go on uh, warfare. Ooh. Okay. So you got a green and two blue. I think I'm going to put the green here. Well, blue, you can't put two blue on warfare, obviously. Yeah. So. I'm going to put the blue here. Where's your final blue? And it has to go on navigation. I already have blue on navigation. I mean, you could put it on expansion, but... I could. I mean, if you put it on navigation, you get... You have two things that you can use, two influence you can use this turn. I don't know whether that's worth it to you or not. Yeah, we'll just but take it. I don't know if you have enough spots explored. Oh, yeah, you totally do. Um, I, I still have uh, an expansion, a material, and two research, and two more. So you've got these... Uh, and this? Yeah. To spend? Yes. That seems outrageous. I have to spend all my dice. I didn't do anything. <laughs> I've just been watching you because I passed you that relic. Uh, I was using my Prophet's Tears. That's right. I was going to... I used it here to gain a yellow thing because then... What have I got? Claiming... I got, wait, wait, wait. I got scrap. Nothing. I got three scrap and two, four... I have six claims. Ooh. Three. And then I can claim two, three more things. Um, I'll claim this planet, this planet, and this four points. That sounds illegal. I can claim two planets and four points. Two right? planets and four points? That sounds illegal. What can I spend them? I don't know. Okay, so I've claimed... <coughs> I got three more claims. I have more planets than you do, and you need to use them. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, well... I think... Actually, you know what? I do. Claim this pink die. I'll put it over here. I have gotten two secret things. Claim this. I've, I've gotten a secret thing. I've gotten a secret thing that you can You've never know. A secret thing that I can never know. No. One, two, three, never. Four, never. Five, six, seven, nine, ten. Okay, I'm going to spend a trade good. Then I can claim one more here. And then I have this thing. I have the maximum efficiency. I have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten in one big group. A contiguous nice. group. So I get nine points on my industry nice. up here. Nine. I've actually done really well on industry. I got like look, I got all these points, they're coming together, I'm unlocking them. It's feeling good. Get in there. Get in there. But I used my prophet's tears. And now I have to cry. I have to cry a planet to get it back. Sorry. I wish you were feeling better. I'm sorry, sweetie. We're getting there. All right. Ready? Please don't be war. It's production. If it's war, then you just, like, die. Claim a trade good on industry for each unlocked plus one. I get six trade goods. What? I yeah, because I went super three. hard. But yours are twice as good as mine. <laughs> no, they're not. Uh, for the first one, every turn they are. Did you mark yours down? Uh, no, not yet. I just... It's okay. My I will lid. find... You mark yours down. I will find your lid. Case of the Dropsies continues. We need more Mass Effect music. That was good. It was brief, but it was good. Also, that's music. The music might have stopped after that song. Can't tell if it's a long outro or if it's just over. Oh, no, never mind. There it goes. Just long outro. Just long outro. Also, this is the correct way. I figured it out. Oh, okay. I don't want to talk to you about that. You put it in. You ready for the next one? Yeah. Rightful claim. Strategy. To influence. Um, I did industry, so I have to do something else. I am going to do warfare. 
Why are you copying me? Because I don't want to lose my wars. And that's why you're copying. Aside me? from not losing the wars, uh, also like look look at my I've literally never used expansion. Never. <laughs> it's Use just it. or just forego. I'm never gonna expand ever. That's not where I'm gonna get my points. I'm gonna be militaristic because yeah, less militaristic you know. than me. There you go. Because uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna spend a planet to get my card back, and then I'm gonna spend it. To unlock the war sun. And <sighs> the card that I have. Yep. Did you drop your lid again? No. You lying to me? No. You lying to me? No. You're lying to me. No, I'm not. <laughs> Where did it go this time? <laughs> it's under my foot. Oh my god. This foot. If you fart, I'll die. <laughs> All right. Me on purposely farts. Yeah, okay. So. Did you pick a board? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Warfare. Can I roll? Oh, you're doing warfare also. I, I win against AI. But lose everything else. But I have the war sun. I don't know no, where I'm going to... What do you mean, no, I don't? You need these resources. Uh, yeah, but I'm going to roll those. See, hey, watch. <laughs> I sort of rolled them. And you have uh, pink on warfare. I don't know if I, that helps. Uh, it gives me a material. I need that for my war sun. <laughs> I, I'll improvise. I'll use my copious numbers of trade goods. You leave me alone. I have two. Uh, okay, so our friend achieves the expansion okay. goal. He got the core cracker. Ah! Yay! So that sucks for you. I get no expansions. But I mean, you can still get five points for it, just not nine. I don't. I don't right? want five points. You don't. You don't believe in points. And he's gonna have four a, attack currently. Okay. What did I get? Two influence. Are you okay, sir? Yeah. Are you lying to me? No. Look at me. I'm not lying to you. All right. We'll be right back. All right, we are back. Um, I don't know where exactly we were. Oh, we were doing warfare, right? Yeah, yeah. Did you finish your warfare? Yeah. I'm uh, done. I did not. I spent these two, and I haven't spent anything Actually, else. wait. I'm going to use a trade good. And That's get a, a war sun. I'm also going <laughs> to oh, get a war sun. But I have to spend... Did you unlock it with a green thing? Yeah, I already have, uh, I have two green things. Okay, so you got to mark them off. Right? And mark off that it was unlocked. Like you can just sort of cross this out. Right? Um, I'm doing the same. I use two trade goods though, because my trade goods are not as amazing as yours. Uh -huh. Yeah, I know. Also, the anomalies are in really awkward spots for this war sun. Where is it? Where did you put it? I'm gonna go here. All right. It takes up this as well. Not just the this? Space. Yeah. I'm just circling it so I can see that I got it. Because I got that population. My I now have four points in population. Woo! I have two. Really? Two. You didn't get a bunch over here? No. Two. Oh, you're on the cusp of you get that one, you'll get four. Like you're you're really close to getting some more. And I put that on the side that's oh, facing you. And I have my pink die, my valuable extra material here. So, ooh, I could get an infantry. That's big. <laughs> what? I can get the weakest thing ever. It's well, big. I have go big or go home. I say go home. <laughs> You're so mean to me, Sarah. Mm -hmm. Do you call that nice? Yes. I'm just gonna mark off this. I'm gonna put it towards a war zone. Okay. Okay. You good? Yeah, yeah. Divide and conquer. It's war. Um. What you did your war zone on the my the me side? 
Yeah, because I had one infantry there. Yeah, but you could attack the AI with your war son. But I already had a P P PDS over here, and I, I put an infantry. I need to. Ridiculous. Okay, it's warfare. I guess I'm going to be getting the blue die. So it is... Uh, the AI has a strength of four. So what's your strength in your respective Five. area? That's ridiculous. I, 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 also, I also have five because I have plus one on the right side and I have my plus one from the crown of Thalnos because otherwise I would only have three. So I get a golden thingy as well. And then on this, this side, I have nine. I have... Fear my son of war. Ten. You serious? Yes, I have that one infantry and a warson. That's nine. Right? The, the warson's eight. Cover six, seven, eight, right? Because I have eight, and then I have my oh, crown of Thalnos. I have nine then. So I also have nine. So we're tied. No! I. No, that's the AI side. Oh, you're right. <laughs> okay, you're right. Sorry. I, I was. Uh, you're, you're absolutely right. I have nine on this side, I have five on my U side. So oh, I don't. We, uh, <laughs> that sucks. Okay, so I lose this war on this side. I didn't lose any of the wars. And I win this war against the AI, and I get a blue die. I get a blue die as well. Which I'm just going to... I'm putting it on expansion, since that's the only place I can put it. I don't know if I even need it on industry. I'm doing so well on industry, I'm not sure that I no. need the extra stuff. I need it on war so I won't lose. You know, that's a good call. And you're still not that's at Mechatol Rex. Well, I gave up because I'm the last one to get there. So I told you. the race is like, yeah, I know you told me. I told you. I know. I saw the future. I know. I can't believe you beat me with your war son. You're just like, yeah, I'm going to crush you. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of true. That is kind of true. I agree. All right. Ready? Three points on both sides. You did? Uh, draw the line. You're right, my deployment ride line. Desperate rather. measures. Desperate measures, so we get a ton of material. Rawr! I'm gonna make a Stop closer. trying to cheat, Opcost. Ah, oh, it's true, it's true. No, I, listen, I wish I could explain that as cheating. It was just simply, I'm not that, that clever. Whoops. Actually, right. I can get two points with this. So what am I gonna do? This is a cruiser, by the way. What's a cruiser? This. It looks like a dumbbell. But don't you have to put it adjacent to the line or an oh, existing yeah, the unit? Line. Oops. Yeah. Sorry. You chose warfare again? Yeah, I can choose. Imagine whatever. being able to choose the same thing back to back. Well, then you're not dad. I agree. I'm choosing navigation. <laughs> Leave me alone. I don't need to be near Mechatol Rex. Get Mechatol Rex, please. One, get Mechatol Rexed. There. No, wait. Get Rexed. There you go. That's what I was get saying. Get Rexed. That's what I was saying. Hang on. Okay. I haven't spent... Can I Can I roll? Yeah, I'm going to... There's so much There's Turn a vertical out. line. Roar. Oh, my gosh. It's... It's... Mate yeah. Super material time? I have five material on warfare. Uh, the next war is going to be really hard, by the way. I have five material. Also, I'm going to unlock Dreadnought. I have five material. I also have five material. And I'm going to spend a trade request. I have five material. These count as material. Or, like, I get to explore with seven, and I get to claim one. <laughs> that sucks. Congratulations. That sucks. I could claim Mechatol Rex. It would give me another vote. That vote might actually be worth it. I, I built a Dreadnought, and I'm going to build another one. I get so few claims. This like I don't have anywhere left to go. One, two. I've gone everywhere. I built Three. two dreadnoughts. You built two dreadnoughts? Yes, I did. That seems outrageous. Illegal, etc. No. Do I really care about that Just vote? No. 
Do I care about that vote? Is the vote going to be enough to make a difference for me? I'm going to earn four votes. Okay, wait. Ha he has ten. Um, I want the po points. Does the AI have ten power? Like for attacking? Yeah. Yeah. Like but he's not going to attack till he's not going to attack till we're into deck five. Six. And and because the way it works is we only play till the one card, um, taking the throne or whatever. We might not resolve a warfare event in the final round. It's so not. You say this might be for nothing. Yes. I think that. What if taking the throne is the war event? It might be. I, I don't know. I just that I, sounds you, like a war you don't event. necessarily go through the whole deck. Maybe it is the a war event. Maybe you're I right. I would take your throne. Ah, yeah, I like my throne. <laughs> oh, hey, I forgot to write. Did you write what your oh you did your relic was worth? Okay. Okay, that was super useless for me because I got a bajillion. Oh, you know what? While I'm doing this, maybe I need to just spend some trade goods to actually make some claims here. I forgot to do my two small claims for free. So what can I get? A red and... I need to fill these. I need to... A blue? I need to... I need to defeat the AI. I have six. Because this is five. One, two, three, four, five. And so I just need to add four to that side. And then I will beat the AI. No, I need to add five to I it. I don't want to have to activate this again. Ever. I want to be done with exploration. But to get everything, I would need one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven. I'd need seven trade goods. Eight. Oh. oh no, wait, there's okay. One, two, three. Forget the little ones. Four. Just the big ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't have eight! Aha. Uh -huh. Do I want to use all my trade Get goods? Destroyed. Do I want to use all my trade goods just to be done with? You don't have eight trade goods. No, but I could just do seven and leave one off. No. I'm going to do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, let's, let's win my warfare on the left. Two, three, four, five, six... Seven, I'll leave that planet behind. Get destroyed. Yep. And now you have plus one on your wars. That doesn't mean plus one against me. No, it's plus one against the AI. I have plus one against you from here, but it wasn't enough to stop my my demise last time. Yeah, your demise is it. Okay, that was an extreme investment of trade goods to try and gain influence. I hope that's worth it, but I have a sneaking suspicion it's not going to be. I hate that. I see so much military power on Sarah's board. Listen, I don't want to talk about it, okay? She's like, look, I got all these cool ships. I might as well just... Have you ever seen a dreadnought before? And she just, like, flaunts it. She built two in one round, I think. Yeah, because like, I got five resources. Yeah, that's ridiculous. I mean, materials. Okay, you ready? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Council. Okay, this is the last council vote. Okay. Why do they look so, like? We gain. They look like mealworms. We gain. They, they look like mealworms. <coughs> Get collect your votes. Uh yes. I'm Three. Okay, and then what we're voting on is, if we pass, the player who cast the most pass votes chooses a unit type. Each player crosses out all, whatever assets, Point. all points, for built units of that type. On warfare. How much votes does the AI have? So you could make somebody lose a bunch of points. I don't want to do that. And the AI has a bunch of votes anyways. Who's going to win this? The, the AI. The AI has six votes. Yeah, I don't have six. I, I have seven, and I'm not spending them. Well, but you, there's, this is the last vote of the game. I don't want to, though. They're not worth anything. Fail. One industry, each player. One industry. Each player spends one free... Trade resource for, for each, each plus one icon they currently have unlocked. So I would get six. I can either lose a bunch of points or get six free trade goods on industry. I think I know I'm going to vote zero. Zero. Okay. Yeah. I get 
plus two, but it's it's good. The AI. I will vote with all my votes. Me. I will vote zero. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I want to... It says Spence. No, but I just thought of something that, uh, that feels right. That we might have messed up. Wait, where's my... Oh, I dropped it in the floor again. Oh my god, <laughs> not again. <coughs> <coughs> that did not happen. Okay. If you cast more votes than the AI, you get the thing with the star icon. If you did not cast more votes, you get the thing with the without the star icon. So I misunderstood this because the setup is dumb. So if we want the setup, if we want the, if we don't want the pass, like if you don't want to lose points, if you want to get trade goods, you have to spend more, you have to vote more than the AI. I vote seven. They have six. I also vote seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we did the last event incorrectly, but that's okay. So we have to roll. He has six votes. Please. Material gets him zero. That's Influence gets him one. So he has seven. <coughs> <coughs> Don't worry, I'm fine. What? Your cough, rate of coughing has increased a lot, I've it's noticed. Because <clears throat> well, you're sick. Uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of trying to get rid of it. By, by coughing? Yeah. You're trying to, like, put it out there. Uh, yeah, yeah. Get rid of it. That's an interesting thought. Uh, what, do you think you have, like, a hundred cough quota, and if you just put them all out there, it's gone? No, that's not what I think. You left. You'll tell me after. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so, basically, from... we, what do you, the cap? Yeah. You know where it is? Oh, I see it. I can grab it. I can grab it. Okay, so we tied. We both tied, because we both spent seven, and tying is not having more, so we both failed. So we have to do the thing, this no. thing. The player who casts the most pass votes chooses a unit type. Each player crosses out all points for built units of that type on Warfare. You know, no, please, why does this... I mean, listen, I think we this have to happen. I think we just cheese it and say we choose PDS. That's a unit type. And yeah, and I have No, but it's not it's not worth No 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 no. You cross out the Oh, I thought it was like these ones. You think it's these ones on the board? Yeah. It makes sense. I think it's these ones. Well then why not just choose infantry? Okay, well, let's just choose infantry anyway. That's a unit type, and then nobody loses anything. Yeah, except for this, which is infantry. Well, whatever. I think it's the cost of the unit, not the thing on the board. Okay, then we'll go by that. Ah. All right. <coughs> Ready? Yeah. Strategy. So one of these blue cards, I think... One of these blue cards it's is the, the is the final one, it's the war. right? Okay, okay. I believe. Um. So I cannot choose navigation. Navigation, but I'm done with navigation. It's dead to me. Um. I'm gonna spend a planet to get my card back, the prophet's tears. I don't know what to do. Am I gonna die in? Meow. You know what? I'm I'm just doing industry. I'm just doing industry. Forget it. Industry. I love forget industry. everything else. Forget industry. everything else. All industry, all the time. I'm okay. actually a capitalist. I, I, I love. I don't I, know what that means. I love industry. I don't know. Not. I do not know what capitalist means. That's fine. Don't you worry about it. Um. Um, yes, um, um, you know, today we had to do bylaws. We had to randomly learn about bylaws. What kind of bylaws did you learn about? We learned about the ones like here. here? Yeah, yeah, here. Uh, can I roll? Yeah. You spent your two influence? Uh, yes. Where did you, Wait, what did you do? I didn't spend them. What are That's you doing? dumb. Which one did you pick? I didn't spend them yet. 
which is why they don't show up anywhere. <coughs> you get a yellow thing. Uh, no, I don't. Oh, uh, I didn't see that. It was hiding. It was um, camouflage. I don't know. Uh, what should I pick? I don't know. Warfare? So, I mean, actually, I, I already spent I them. Think, I think... I, I spelled them. I spelled them, actually. I spent them to try to get another war soon. Okay. The last war is strength 10 for the AI. Yeah. So, keep that in mind. He's, he's super spicy strong. He's coming for us. Look at my warfare board. I think it's a lost cause. Okay. A little material and... Okay. I get that and that. I don't need that. Ah. Okay. I'm going to spend a trade resource. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put this on the AI side since your board is a lost cause. What? <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm sorry, my board is a what? You said that your board is a lost cause. So I said, I'm going to put this on the AI side. I mean, listen, said listen, if we get two more rounds, I might go for warfare, but it's just like, I I'm... It, overall, I'm not doing very, very well. I think you're doing great. I didn't explore Mechatol Rex in my seven things? <laughs> no! <laughs> yes. God. Actually, there's one here. There's one here. You can do it. But I'm not on navigation, and I'm never going back. I, so I'm not even the last one there. I just you were wrong. I did. I, I abstain. I don't go at all. Oh! I was looking at the. Eventually, big, you'll get there and be I the was, last one. Look, there. I was looking at these big circles. So I missed this really <laughs> big circle. I'm. I'm there. I'm there. Ah! I'm there, but not there. Oh my god! Yeah, I'm not all here, you know. Oh my gosh, it's a disaster. Okay, what have I got? I can scrap with these, so I can scrap two times and claim three times. I get to build a war sun. That sounds cool. Like just overall, it will destroy you. War sun, like, sounds big and scary. You know. It sounds like it'll demolish you. It kind of does. I mean. What did I say? Op cost will definitely survive. Op cost, op cost can survive this. anything. I'm gonna Dad spend cannot. my profit thing to go here, and then I can. <coughs> I have three claims. One, two. Oh, whoops! I did the wrong one. One, two. I'm trying to figure out a place to put this so war on. Two yellow and two blue. Why do I need four resources? But anyways. And then I can claim one more. Oh, I, if only I had one trade good left. Dad. I could do something useful, yes? Can you help me pick a spot to put my war sun, please? Can I help you pick a spot to put your war sun? Listen, are you going to crush me with it? No, and it's going to go on the AI side. Okay, let it's me just... going to kill. Let me just look at this. I'm out of resources, and I just can't get this. That probably annoys you to yeah. no end. I don't want to talk about it. It annoys you to no end. Oh, I put the wrong symbol on this. I should have circled that one. Anyways, I'm just going to cross out a couple of these because I can. And where do you want to put your horse on? On the AI side, which is this side. And what's your what's the problem? It's too overlappy. Can you well, fit it? It goes one, two, three. Okay, so one, two, three. And then across one, two, three, across. And then it has two sticky outy thingies. I don't think you can place it. So why did I buy it? I don't know. Um, I mean, I think you would still get the points, but I don't think there's a legal way for you to put it out because you no, can't overlap. No, I, I have to put it out. Okay, but you can't overlap. That anomaly I... is really hurting bad. What anomaly? That one. Yeah, it does. <laughs> You know, you can rotate it or whatever. Um, I don't know if you can, can, can you, I don't know if you can build below the deployment line. I don't, I think no, but. If I could literally fit, okay. I could. Entire shape must be above the deployment line. No. 
I don't think you have a legal place to put it. But I want the place. I think what we could do is Okay, where were you intending to put it anyway? Well, if if there's space here, I was going to put it like probably here or maybe Okay, listen. Here's what I would suggest. Look. Let's 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 retcon this a little bit. Okay? Look. Look, look, look. We'll just do we'll just do this. We'll just pretend because you built this straight up to get to there, which you never went to, right? So let's pretend your dreadnought was over here instead, okay? Yeah. And that your war son, that this guy was this way, and then your war son would have fit in here, right? Yeah. And we'll call it even. And just just a little revisionist history there. I mean, you probably are allowed to, like, delete an existing unit or whatever, but you're strictly, like, not supposed to move them, but who cares? Better? Yeah. Got your war sent out? And it's worth your four points. I have more resources to spend. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good. Cool. 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 Actually, wait. I can spend the remaining three of my uh, materials to do this. And then I still have two more resources to spend. Oh my gosh. I literally have never picked expansion. And I feel like that is like a huge mistake. Congratulations. Thank you. But okay. I get a pink die on it. Listen, so listen, cool. Dad. You know who always said uh, I probably wouldn't be able to complete the United Front one? Yeah. I might be able to do it. Look, I only have three more spaces left here. Where are the three spaces? One, One, two, three. Two, three. Use trade goods. Do it now, right? I I have already used you, one. Okay, so you use two. This pen is not working. Okay, so get a different pen. Probably just need to shake it or whatever, but like, let's grab a different one. Yeah. I'll just shake it, just to make sure. I blame it's this eraser being inserted backwards is That's causing it to fail. It is, it, it is a problem. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah get it now right because like he's also about to unlock the warfare thing and then it's only worth um okay so I'll go just put three infantry yeah yeah just three and then look at that one two okay so you get nine points for you yes Front. Okay, so mark that on your objective spot. I caught one objective. That's all I'm gonna do. All right, so are we done? I'm definitely beating the AI. Can I flip point. out the yes. next one? Yeah, you're beating everybody. Oh look, a throne for the taking! I told it you. is the war event. I told you. And that means we resolve the war, and then um, the game's over, Dad and we loses. we don't do these remaining ones because I can't believe I forgot to go to Mechatol Rex. I want to die. You should. I should die? Because you're dying in war. Okay, okay, so the warfare, I'll tell you how the warfare is. You win both of yours and get six points. I lose both of mine and I get minus two, two points. points. Because I have I have two on either side, right? Because of my cards, my, my bonus cards, and that's it. Okay, so, Sarah. Yes. So let's tally up our points. So the okay. way this works on a per sheet basis, you get your objective if you if achieved it. Yeah. Did you get to five planets? No. Yes. One, two, three, four. I got to four. Ah, uh, darn. Okay. So that will haunt me forever. The core cracker you Mechatol never Rex. quite got. Wait, Mechatol Rex has a point thing on it, so I'll just write that. Even though it shows it there, I'll just write seven. That has a point. Thing. Sure, that's a fine way to keep keep it in included thank you for adding that zero to my board on mechatol rex in case i had forgotten okay so you get your objective score right so yours is nothing for navigation no. right 
and then you total up all the points on your sh on the sheet so any planets that you visited or whatever and you write that in and then you get a subtotal we do that for all four sheets add them up and whoever has more points wins well, thank you i don't know 11 14 and i don't know if we do an ai score i feel like the answer is no i think it's just it exists to facilitate warfare and that sort of thing Oh yes, we get a rank based on our score. We can see how poorly we did, basically. I'm gonna be at the lowest one. Remember a couple of turns back when Sarah told you you should go to Mechatol Rex and you were like, nah, I'm last, so there's no rush. Remember that? Yeah, I do remember that. Not only do I remember that, I remember I spent all of my trade goods so that I wouldn't have to go back to Mech or back to the navigation Mechatorx to the navigation only. action and I claimed seven seven areas and I just forgot that Mechatol Rex could have been one of them. Yes, Sarah. <laughs> I see you there glaring at me. <laughs> that's not staring it. Staring me down it's with not judgment. That. That's not it. It's it's like that it's that it's that <laughs> <laughs> when you were gonna go to Mechatol Rex, you were just like, Nah. <laughs> yeah, you, I, you, I said go to Mechatol Rex, and you said, No. <laughs> yeah, I, yes. And I meant it. Okay, I gotta add up my <laughs> yeah, points, because I, I actually have a decent number of points <coughs> on this sheet. <coughs> what do you get from it? 14. What have I got? 3, 5. Down, down, down. 3, 5, 7. <clears throat> I think I got 0 points on this. 11. Actually, I got two. 13 population. I got two. 13. Wait, what? Six. Okay, I'm trying to add this up and you're yelling numbers at me. Five, seven, uh, 11, 13, 16, 18, 22. Mechatol, Rex. Mechatol, I will beat you without it. Uh, you know uh. what I scored on expansion? <clears throat> uh, Zero. I didn't get the objective. But I did score four points for my population. You scored more than me. You never, like, you would have got a lot if you'd come back to that, hey? Because you would have got the core cracker, which would have been worth five, and you would have got two no, more population. No, I would have core cracker. Yes, core you cracker is three. No, it's five. Second place for it is five. Yeah, but you need three planets. Oh, I thought it was only two planets. You're right. You wouldn't have got Core Cracker. My mistake. Okay. Um, warfare. Subtotal. Two. My objective warfare. on Warfare, I failed horribly. But on the sheet, I, I mean, Warfare might be like a net loss for me. Honestly. No, I guess I've got like points over here. Cause I've I got, guess you just lost I got five Four, points. five, six. Leave me alone. Minus five. I have six. Minus seven, eight, nine, ten. Minus, minus seven. one, two, three, four, five. I got five points. Get, get wrecked, nerd. I already have nine. Just from the, Just from the objective. Okay, listen. Objectively bad. Yes, that's what my For warfare you. was. Objectively bad. Yes. Um, five, seven, eleven. Oh, 15, I don't like these numbers. Put them away. Eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 25, uh, 26, 27, 28, 29, minus 2 is 27. 9 plus 27 is 36. That is on warfare alone. Are you serious? Okay. And I got no objective. On industry? Sheet, I think I got zero. I think I got zero on industry. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, no, not quite. Yes. Because at the end of the game, trade goods are worth one point per two unspent. So you have two points in trade goods because you have four unspent trade goods. Yes, I do. So you got two points. I got none from my trade goods. Okay, so then what's your score? We got, you got 50. 254? Yeah. Okay, and I have... I already know you got more. Though. I don't know. I don't know. 27 plus 34 is already more than 54. Okay, you're right. I got 61, 65, 70. So 51 AI to 70. 
and then let's take a look at what those were that's not overall very good <laughs> so if you get less than 40 points it counts as a loss <laughs> okay um but you're a footnote in galactic history and i'm a fledgling domain you need 80 points to be a galactic power, which we did not achieve. Wait, wait, wait. I want to see. I want to see. Okay, see. okay, 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 okay. You can see. You can see. Right? Imagine you're... getting 120 points. Per surpassed the Lazax. The Lazax. Yeah. They, they, that's like, so in the lore of this game, they were like the great, I don't know, dominating faction. And Can't they, close it either. they have, you know, they died out or whatever and have disappeared. So, um, they, uh, like, Mechatol Rex is their former homeworld. That's why you race there to, like, gain access to their technology and stuff like that, right? Unless her dad. Unless her dad. Sarah's new stool brings her up to your level. You That's mean true. I don't have any new stool? That's this true. is my level? Yeah. So, what did you think of this game? I think it's, uh, I think it's, a. Uh... I think I give it um, a a what? Seven. A seven out of ten? Yeah. Why? What would have made it a uh, higher than a seven out of ten? I mean, I don't even know. Is it because you got upset because of warfare? Kind of. So if you didn't get upset, it, it would, would have done better. Be an eight. Okay. I think this is like the only roll and write game that I've played that I really like. What about uh, actually? You said Dinosaur Island. I was gonna say. I was just gonna say that Cosmic Beat is right. Dinos Dinosaur Island, Rar and Right. I don't mind. I don't mind that one. Um, but that's like, it was good, and this feels like, this is great. I think this is a really um, good game. I'm destroying this. I feel like th that's okay. Don't do don't use that eraser. We'll just we'll use paper towel and like yeah, it, it's that's a notable negative of this game. They give you these chalk markers and the the chalk sconge gets everywhere. It's kind of awful. So yeah, I think that this is an eight out of ten for me. It might even be a nine out of ten. I really like this game. I think there's lots of replayability with the factions, right? Mm -hmm. Um the one of the only things I dislike about it is the fact that it doesn't feel very Twilight Imperium. -ish. I wouldn't understand. You've never played Twilight Imperium, and this it's like set like themed as Twilight Imperium, but nothing you're doing feels like playing TI. If you want to play TI in two hours, this doesn't do it at all. But that's sort of like hard to think of as a negative because if it was just a standalone game. I wouldn't count that against it. I don't say, oh, hey, you know, Malem is less of a good game because it's not like Twilight Imperium, <laughs> right? That would be a silly criticism. So. Dinosaur Island Raw and Right fits on my desk, though, so I play it way more. That's fair. This is huge. Um, and I would say that, you know, yeah, it's probably an 8 out of 10. I think this would be a 9 out of 10 for me if there was a some way to have the learning curve be a little bit easier. Uh, it's not that it's a super hard game, but like you can't do everything, right? Not even close. And you need resources from each of these things kind of elsewhere, right? But it kind of takes, you have to play it once to sort of figure that out. You don't really know it I mean, or, or, or you're like dad and you just don't go to Mechatolics. Okay. Who won the game? Me. No. <laughs> By Mechatol Rex. Yeah, listen, you were first there. The Space Cats might have been the first, but they were not the best. Aha. Oh, you can't gloat. And then, uh, and the, hey, no smack in my butt. That's me. All right. So uh, I think Sarah and I are actually going to give this a try again next, we stop. next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get there. So we're going to give this a try next week because this is... Um, from a rule set perspective, I don't think this is a super heavy game, but I would say that it is, you know, the decision space, especially for a roll and write. There's lots to consider here, right? And their opportunity cost is extremely high. 
You're choosing things at the expense of other things that you will not be able to get, like going to Mechatol Rex or building literally any ships in a game about warfare, about intergalactic warfare. I didn't build any Dreadnoughts, War Suns, etc. You built one nope. War Sun. Okay, but later in the game, I just kind of forgot. <laughs> I was just, yeah, I'll You're get to, like, the, I'll get to that later, and then later. Like Mechatol came. Rex. Isn't that true of so many games? It is true of so many games. It's why, you know, the, this place is called Off Cost Games, because we like opportunity cost here. I don't I don't really know what opportunity cost is. You don't really know what opportunity cost is. Okay, so I let's, understand let's, it, but let's, but let's talk about it. I don't really know. I so, don't know how to find it in-game. Okay, so if you, um, you know, decide to uh, navigate, right, yeah. the cost is the resources you pay you're paying materials in order to explore and you're paying influence in order to claim those are the like costs right the opportunity cost is that you're navigating and that means you're not doing warfare expansion or industry right and for instance and that's one of the things that i think is hard to understand about this game you don't when you've played it a few times you can anticipate like oh hey you know what warfare hasn't come out yet so it's really important for me to put some time towards building my ship so that I can win the war. I think it's going to come soon, right? If you choose to explore instead because you want to unlock a planet first and then, you know, you know whatever, since since you might not get it, be able to do wait, it at all. Wait, wait, wait. I have a question. Did you add those two forbidden candy to the jar from no, inside? I did not. I left them inside. I forgot. Wow. That is way off subject. Yeah, it is. Anyways, do you understand? Yeah, yeah. The opportunity cost is I'm doing one thing, and that means I'm not doing something else. And in a game like this, it's sort of within your own realm of decisions. But like, think about like a worker placement game. If you choose to do something, then I might get to do something else. You're not getting in my way. You're not preventing me from doing something. I That's do something kinda... good for me, and might leave something good for you. Exactly, right? All right, so. But if I do something. Put the stabber down. I must stab. Okay, we must stab. Right. Give me the my flamingo. So we started doing this last time. I got these little receipt. Don't forget to date stabbers. it. Stabbers, I know. Um, I don't think spike, I think, is a better term, but Sarah says they're stabbers. Um, and uh, we've been writing down the games that we've played. And... Um, our rating out of 10. So, Twilight Inscription. And the date, exactly. So it's April 10th. And I'm giving Twilight Inscription an eight out of 10. I said it 8 out of 10 if I tried it again. Okay, well, we are going to try it again, so we'll see if that comes true. You didn't write a title of the game. I know. That's what I'm doing. Hey, 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 hey. You can't, you don't want it, this, we don't want it to say Twilight Inscription, like, stuck in this guy's face. <laughs> this noble cat face. Are we from it being under there. Through the stabber? No. <laughs> That's so mean. <laughs> <laughs> Why would we do that? I'm saying that could happen. We like the space cats. Oh, like by accident or something. Yeah. Right, yeah, we don't want that to happen. We want to avoid that happening at all. Oh, wait. I need to give an intriguing. Oh, yeah. So I guess, was this as intriguing of a game as you expected? Because you no. seemed very... Oh. Actually, yes. Yes, 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 it was. In what way was it intriguing? It was intriguing because I guess... It was hard to plan out your decisions, and so it's like intrigued. Yeah, because there's a, like a little bit of speculation. You know, oh, I'm getting these resources, but I don't know what other resources. Like there was a couple turns where I got like 12 material, and I really needed anything else. And I like that about it. It's fun, right? I'm just gonna write on the side, intriguing. Hmm. I think next time we'll have to try. You'll have to try something other than the Emirates of Hakan. You'll have to try a different. Uh, non space cat race. Yeah. And see what happens. We just stab. I didn't love these guys, the Isaril tribes. 
They're the galaxy's foremost spies, saboteurs, and assassins, possessed of incredible chameleonic powers and surpassing cunning. Hmm. I didn't feel like a spy. Anyways, you done? Yeah. Twilight Inscription, April 10th. 8 out of 10 if I tried it again. Intriguing. I just wrote 8 out of 10. And dated it. And wrote yeah. Twilight Inscription. All right, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. There we go. All right. I'm always scared when I stab it. Like, that I you're going to stab your hand? No, not that I'm going to I'm stab. scared that you're going to stab your hand. I'm really scared. And then I'm going to have to go inside and be like, hey, mom, Sarah's... <laughs> Look at Sarah's hand, and there's gonna be like a spike sticking out of it, and she's gonna be upset with me. <laughs> I'm worried about that. Okay. Um, okay. So uh, this um, meow. Me flamingos <laughs> don't say meow. Yes, That's they weird. Do. No. I think they do. So uh, that brings our Twilight inscription to, to an end. end. It's only twenty to eight. We made really good time. I'm actually really pleased about that. Yeah. Um, so that's really nice. So uh, I can we. See Bumble. You can see Bumble. It's true. We are gonna try Twilight Inscription again, again. next again. week, and we'll see if Sarah if that brings it up to that Wait, eight out of ten level. I or have. Not. I have a question. What did you rate Dungeon Degenerate? I think I rated it a nine. That's uh, our. It's right there. Finish. Dungeon Degenerates, nine out of ten. Your writing is very big and blocky. Yeah, I've been trying to make it big and blocky on those on purpose. So that they're legible, you know? Good job, team. GG again. Excited for the rematch. Thanks for the stream. I'm also excited for the rematch. Um, Maybe uh, I'll get revenge. I think there's a decent chance. I don't um, think there's any chance. I think so. I think so. You gotta have some confidence there, my dear. Maybe. Anyways, we're going to... I mean, do you not want to play this again? I do. Okay, I think because it's a heavier game and we're kind of invested in it now, we should try it again. And then we and play something you understand. new. The next week. Yeah. The I, following week. Wait, I think I know what we should play the following, the following week. Okay. Not not next week, but the week after. Yes, I understand. I think we should play... Um, What was I going to say? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> All of that for a, I'm not actually sure. I had it. I think we should play Stone Spine Architects, a role player tale about Ooh. building a dungeon. That's what I think we should play. Yes. But I mean, you know, if you don't like dungeon building. I mean, this, this guy kind of looks scary. He looks like a minotaur. He looks scary. <laughs> Draft chamber cards to expand your dungeon. Arrange cards carefully to accomplish scoring goals. Map a path through traps and monsters. Spend your gold wisely to purchase new elements. Ooh. That sounds Way good. to make a dungeon. Make a dungeon. You Craft a dungeon. You seem like you're you're good at, you know... Crafting a dungeon crafting. that dad has to escape in but will never escape from? Yes, exactly. Like, that would, sounds like something you'd be super into. So that's what I think we should play. Wait, maybe you should, maybe you should also play with Mom. She likes puzzles. She does. And she's got those witchy hands, so she can probably do some you crazy magic. You call them magic. talons sometimes. Talons? You call them witchy talons. I've never called them talons. Fingers, <laughs> witchy fingers, maybe. Talons, no. Don't Very tell impressed them. with Sarah's performance. It was a pretty close game for your first time. Yeah, I, I agree. I think Sarah did really well. So yeah, let's talk about that a little. This is the heaviest game that I think we've played, and I, Ever. it's it's sort of weird. Because I don't think that Sarah... I don't think this is, like, rules-heavy. I think it's kind of decision space-heavy. It's difficult to know what you need from one place in order to use it on other places on the board. And I think once you've played it a couple times, you also understand, this is something we'll know for next time, that when we're looking at these, like, in Era 3 or whatever, you know, it's deterministic. If... If you haven't gotten a council card yet, you know one's coming, right? Yeah. It's hard to appreciate the first time you play the game and it becomes easier the next time. So I think you'll have room to do better. Yeah. And also, I think before we do our wave, yeah, the Flamigo has something to say. Oh my God. Meow. Why does the Flamigo say meow? Why would that possibly be a thing? 
Okay. <laughs> that said, we're going to wrap up. We'll be back next week on Wednesday for Twilight Inscription Rematch Again. Round 2. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. You should title the stream Twilight Inscription Rematch Baby Revenge. That's literally what I just said. You didn't say that you were going to title it that. Okay, I will make a fancy thumbnail indicating the rematchy nature of our next stream. We'll be back on Wednesday for that. I think because we know the rules, we should be able to knock that out at our normal streaming time without any difficulty. Yeah. Right? And I will be this Sunday playing the latest Shem Phillips game, which is, um, I'm going to get it wrong. Is it Shipwrights or Explorers? Oh, I'm going to get it. Oh. It's Shipwrights. No, is it? Yes, it is. Is it? Is it? It's right here. It's Shipwrights. It's not right here. That's the old one. It's Shipwrights. Okay, fine. I'm just going to trust you. Sarah says it's shipwrights. It's the <laughs> shipwrights of the of the North Sea Redux. So this is actually like one of his first games from like 10, 12 years ago uh, that has been updated. So I will be here uh, wrong, this Sunday sad. as well as on Twitch, uh, giving that one a try. And we will be back next Wednesday. And with that, more Twilight inscription. Time to say goodbye. It is time to say goodbye. You ready? Yes. I don't yeah. know if I'm ready. <laughs> Why? Did... <laughs> I'm throwing it out. <laughs> no, I'm getting rid of it. Okay, let's wait. All right. Three, two, one. <laughs> I don't know.